Spin the wheel of death. Yeah. Spin the wheel of death. Here it goes. 14 topics. There it is. Round as, and round as and created. round she goes. Oh, oh. oh, dear me. Okay, it's a disaster. We're asking an American comic Redraw. to speak about cricket. It's like the RSL club. Yes. The topic. Cricket. The topic is cricket. It's cricket. Something that Tommy Dean knows the sticky wicket. Nothing about. <laughs> the wheel well, of first death. Off, uh, first off, first off. Go. Uh, go. Yeah, three minutes. Uh, I'd like to uh, admit that uh, when I first got here, uh, one of the things that I suffered the most in was trying to understand what Australia did for fun. And I happened to move here in the middle of cricket season, and many men that I met at the barbecues that I was being introduced at uh, talked about cricket uh, a lot, as if it was the most exciting thing that men could get together and do. But the most confusing thing was they kept calling it a sport. <laughs> and the more I watched it on television, the more I started to think to myself, I'm not even sure the term activity... <laughs> applies to what we have here. <laughs> that was taken by all facets of it. I, I thought that I would have some sort of generic uh, understanding, in a sense, because it's not unlike baseball. It's got a bat, it's got a ball, it's got men, it's got an audience full of people drinking beer, trying to make it seem exciting. So much of about it was our, just like our national pastime. But the part that confused me the most was the not hitting the ball part. <laughs> The first thing I saw was a fast bowler, and, the, and what I've come to learn is called the defensive stroke, uh, which is no stroke at all. You simply put the bat out in front. <laughs> Stop! Stop the ball! And they kept doing it, and I thought it was an anomaly. I thought that it was a mistake, but everybody kept clapping and saying, excellent cricket. <laughs> I thought for the longest time that maybe, you know that feeling in golf? You know when you play golf and you, and you pull out the driver... And you take your big, big swing, and you swing through the ball, and you barely hit the ball, and it goes about six inches, and it feels terrible. I thought cricket was a sport designed to take that feeling and make it a positive. <laughs> he barely hit it at all. And my thoughts were confirmed when later, eventually, the batsman, in my mind, appeared to make a mistake. He actually hit the ball. <laughs> he hit it so hard that it rolled all the way to the fence... And he didn't even run. <laughs> and I thought, how lazy are these people? <laughs> Everything about it, I had a great deal of American attitude about the entire sport uh, once I started seeing it, uh, so much about it, to the fact that they kept checking the ball to see if it was still round enough to play with. <laughs> and being from a baseball background, I kept thinking, why don't you just simply give them a new ball? How poor are these people? <laughs> that they can't afford another ball. And then the cameras pan out, and suddenly you think, oh, my God, both teams wear exactly the same uniform. They can't even afford color. How poor are these people? Everything about it seemed poor. But then, then my faith was restored. My faith was restored because I knew there had to be a reason that you loved this game. And the day that I figured it out was a day that sits forever in infamy in my mind is when I understood Australia. I was sitting at home, watching a test, trying desperately to understand why men love this game. My wife happened in from the other room and said, Tommy, could you come in and help me with the gardening? And I said, sure, baby. As soon as this test is over. 